I'm starting a houseplant channel because it's quarantine and I can. Who needs more houseplant channels? So let's get started. I want to talk about an alocasia today. So this is my alocasia fry deck. I only have two alocasia. These plants are really cool. They are part of the aeroid family. Um, it has these really cool dark green leaves. Um, this one is really dark compared to some of the other ones. This one is kind of a dusty blue green, but this is what I bought the plant for. So it's a pretty minimal plant. A lot of other plants kind of get bushy and vine out, or maybe they spread by rhizome. Not so much this guy. Um, I mean, it will spread a little bit. It'll have little babies that'll pop up from down here. This guy isn't really one that spreads a whole crazy lot. Um, so as you can see here, this spike in the middle, um, this is a new leaf coming out and I'm very excited. It's going to be bigger than this one. It's also going to be taller. So rather than having a vine, like I was saying, uh, it just has petioles that hold up the leaves and they grow from a single caudex down here. Um, so this is kind of like the stem all the way down here um, in the dirt. And then a like an, eventually a little baby will pop up next to it and you can separate those out but i'm very far away from that point and this is a really fast growing plant when i got it it had this sad old leaf on it um, and just compared to the new leaf it's just so much smaller and much less vibrant and it's pretty droopy it's kind of sad this one is also on its way out this is the second oldest leaf on this plant and that's just kind of how these plants grow they're pretty minimal so if something happens to the plant up top it will uh, sacrifice or not even just up top if something happens to the plant it will sacrifice its oldest leaves but also as the leaves age and are no longer efficient for the plant they they just die off. So this guy, he's still kind of hanging on barely and I'm not going to cut him off right now. I kind of, I think that as until a plant like gives you that leaf, like if you pull on it and it comes off, then you don't need to do a whole lot. That, that being said, if it's going to be completely shriveled and dead on the side of the plant and it's still not coming off, I might just go clip it. Taking care of plant debris like that will also help you pre uh, prevent spider mites. And these plants are pretty prone to spider mites from what I hear. I have not experienced that so far, but everyone says it's not if you get spider mites with an alocasia, it's when. So part of uh, my preventative maintenance routine on that, I keep these in a place where I see them all the time. My, they actually sit right behind the camera, kind of right there. They sit behind the camera and it, this is my living room. So I see them all the time. I uh, check to see when they need watered. I water, I have a moisture meter. I water it when it's between a two and a three. These guys do not want to dry out completely, but I, I can't like let it sit in too much water. It'll just rot and that's not okay. A lot of care videos say, oh yeah, keep the soil moist, all that stuff. I don't live in a hot enough environment for that and they're not getting enough light. They're sitting in a north window um, and they only get about 15 minutes of direct light um, in the evening or in the very early morning just because, like I said, it's a north facing window um, and where I am, the sun just kind of barely peeks in um, for maybe about 15 minutes before it sets or goes over the building. All right, so this is my alocasia fry deck. I take care of this one um, exactly the same as I take care of my alocasia zebrina reticulata. Well, reticulata form excuse me so this I also got this one from Wellspring Gardens this leaf is just so cool it's not really showing up on camera very well let me see if you can see the underside you can kind of see the pattern on the leaf a little bit better on the end underside anyway so this this plant is really cool there's the alocasia zebrina just plain old alocasia zebrina and it has solid leaves and striped petioles. So these leaves come out um, just like they do with the out the fry deck. It comes out kind of like in a spire from the 
from the caudex down here uh, and out through the petiole. And this leaf is going to be massive. I'm so pumped for this. It will continue to grow after it comes out as well. This plant is a slower grower than my my fry deck that I just showed you, but thankfully the care is basically the same. Um, so you can see on this leaf here, this is the older, the oldest leaf that I have. Um, and when I got it, it had this leaf and like a little shrivelly stem, which I left on until it basically gave itself up and I was able to just pull it off carefully. I'm not like ripping plants off or parts off plants, but I don't want it to, I don't know. It might've had some juice that it could have given to the plant, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's my plant. I can do what I want. Anyway, so it has this really, it has this little um, issue on this bottom leaf. It's not really, well, it's an issue, but it, it's just shipping damage. Cause I got these in the mail and I'm actually surprised that that's the only damage that I got. Um, it was cold when I got these. It was probably, I think the high that day was around 50 and it was really dumb of me to actually order both of these plants at that time because they could have just died. It, it's too cold for them up here in Chicago. Um, and I actually had been not buying plants for the winter. It's going to have this new leaf here, like I said, and this, it just grows a lot slower. So this one came out, it was probably already forming when I got it. This leaf here will be the one that's come the first one in my care. Like I said, I water this one the same way as I water the fry deck. Uh, so about every four days, but I still check them probably about every three just to make sure. So anyway, these are my alocasia. I, those are my tips and tricks so far. And I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube, um, YouTube post. So thanks so much and have a great day. Hopefully I will see you back with another houseplant uh, mini care video. Bye.